Welcome to Huntington Bank Stadium, home of the Minnesota Golden Gophers, as we get set for what ought to be a terrific battle. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport, a rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime, as we'll see the number one team in the country, the Michigan Wolverines, taking on another team from the Big Ten, the Minnesota Golden Gopher. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock. They've got the big fellas out there, a three tight end look on first and ten. The RPO, it's complete. You know this sophomore has a big arm, and there were some revolutions on that one. They're down to the 32-yard line on first and ten. Pulls and fires complete. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. It's first and ten from the 13. He caught it! Crisp execution in the passing game, and they've got it down to the three. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. He wants it all. Can't hang on in the end zone, and that one is going to drive him crazy. When he watches it, it'll be third down. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. It is incomplete, and he almost had himself an interception in the end zone. It'll be fourth down. Yeah, and third. Three tight ends in the formation on first and ten. From the gun, the running back looking for room. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Really important for a ranked team going in. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. Looking for a man. It's Boston. Quickly complete. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And the Wolverines with the first and ten. Quick release by the QB. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. The biggest rule change for me, if I could make one in all of college football, would be illegal man downfield. And when they run these RPO plays and those linemen start to creep further and further down the field, I would love for the refs to call those more often. It's a cheating play, basically, running these RPOs. So hard to stop. Nice execution by the offense, but probably cheating too. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. They'll line up for a second down play. Unloads quickly. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. 
And he's brought down after a huge completion. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. Line getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires complete on the crosser. Oh, what a big play for this offense as they get it to the 33-yard line. Well, that's a really nice job surveying the field and delivering an accurate throw. You know, when I think back to Michigan quarterbacks, I think of guys like Elvis Gerbach or Tom Brady, Jim Harbaugh. Brian Greasy, guys that could hurt you throwing the ball from the pocket, surveying the field, reading defenses, and making quick decisions. This guy has the ability to do all of those things. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. And I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this... From the 33, it's first and 10. They're going to throw it again. Oh, he drops the football. He had him right down the gun of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. Quarterback empties his backfield. Looking to move it through the air. Right down the middle. It's in. Complete, and he's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. All right, well, the quarterback's showing you. From the 44-yard line, the offense snaps it on first down. He's looking to throw it. Wide open downfield. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. Looking to throw, it's Boston. Quickly to the tight end. Just does not like to be tackled, discarding guys and getting to the 21. They've got the big fellas out there, a three tight end look on first and 10. Hold and fire complete. And he unleashed the RPMs on that pass. Man, this sophomore has an arm. Three tight ends in the formation on first and 10. A strike downfield. They're ripping off chunks of yard to get it to the 33. You know, it's one thing to have all the accolades preseason and have all the expectations, but it's another thing to be able to go out and execute week in, week out. He's done that. He now has over 1,500 receiving yards on the year. They go to the ground. Plows ahead for a pickup of one to the 32. In the lore of the Little Brown Jug guys, it originally was just a water jug that Michigan wanted back, and Minnesota told them, well, come win it if you want it so bad. Yeah, listen, I mean, it's not the most expensive-looking trophy out there for <laughs> sure, but it was, it was important. I mean, it was helping hydrate people back in the day, David, so, you know, you get points for that. Not expensive, but you know what? Anything that drives the hate between people and the animosity, sign me up, bro. And so Touchdown, Michigan! And the pummeling has started. They've extended the lead and taken control here in week nine. Michigan has dominated this rivalry over the years, and they look oh so close to securing the jug again. You look at Michigan on paper, and they have an advantage all over the place against Minnesota. It was a question of whether they could just stay out of their own way. If they eliminated the mistakes, we knew this was going to be a tall order for Minnesota. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys are... Can anyone catch him? 
And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. I love the play call because you're trying to get this guy the ball as fast as you can because his ability after the catch is sensational, and you saw it on that last play. What a dynamic play on that last one. Flips the field, and they've got it first and 10 from the 28. Quick strike complete. First down, complete on the slack. Game of 11. And that's a first down. You know what's great about rivalry games? Each side hates every wretched breath the other one sucks into their greedy lungs. Figuratively speaking, of course, and when you win, oh, oh, is that sweet. It's glorious to, to be able to brag, to be able to text message your buddies, to be able to post stuff on social media. It's a lot of fun. I think fans like it more than anybody, but it's something that you every year you have a couple games start. This was one of them, Jesse. They took care of business, and now you move on to the next. They really did, and we saw some great individual efforts in this game by the winning team, too. So cool to see some of these players that have had terrific collegiate careers make some of the biggest plays of their lives in this game, in a rivalry game that just means so much. This was a fun one to call. That's going to do it.